Welcome back to PyBytes YouTube. And today, quick video, how to read source code with the inspect module. Some time ago, I made a PySource package where uh, you could um, pip install it and use it uh, like this uh, to uh, read the source code of uh, any Python module. Uh, turns out, as I said in the updated note here, is that you can actually do this with the inspect module. Running uh, Python minus M inspect, you get actually um, a command line tool. And it says like it receives a positional argument of object, which means that you can actually get the source code of the re module like this. And that just scrolls by. So you can pipe that into less and you have a nice pager. I can also do it for module. Object. It's really cool, right? Or the other day, as I was using concurrent futures, that uh, also works. And if I want to zoom into thread pool executor, again, pipe it into less. There you go. I was actually wondering why that was uh, a context manager, because I cannot really see here the enter and exit dunders, uh, but that's probably in the base class. So let's look at that one. And there you go, enter and exit dunders, which makes this class a context manager. So there you go, you can use Python minus M inspect module and or object to get the source code of the vast amount of cool stuff that's in the standard library. One thing I forgot to mention is that I made a useful shell alias. So let's also show that. So in my uh, ZSHRC file, I uh, made a function pies. It was the shortest because I'm lazy typing. It defines a variable, right? If else. So it defines a search variable. If you give it one argument, it's just um, that argument. If you give it module and object, then it will um, make module colon object, right? And then it will call Python minus M inspect with that search variable, pipe it into less, kind of what I showed in this video. And uh, using these extra parentheses, it does it in a subshell. But that's relevant. That's relevant for this uh, video. So um, this is pretty useful, and I will paste this snippet below. I will will post it somewhere in a gist or something. But now I can just do pies um, and call it with one or two arguments, right? So with two arguments, it will translate that for inspect with to re colon find all. So there we go, and I can also call it with one argument, just a string module, for example. Then I get the whole module. And I also forgot to mention this also works for external modules, as long as you have them pip installed into a virtual environment. So I can actually get the source of request get, request post, request, I guess, session. Yep. And yeah, if you put it something that's not working, you just get in a trace back, and that's fine. Hope this uh, inspired you to use it. Uh, it will, I mean, reading code is, is super critical as a developer and uh, hope this video helps you make that do faster. See you in the next one.